Right, we're going to try another game now, and here I am playing the famous, and you have to say famous, this guy has probably played more games of chess on ICC than anyone else in the whole galaxy. Um, it is the Yardbird and um, Eric Lobrun. And Eric Lobrun, I believe, is also married to a supermodel. Now, you know, this guy, what a life, eh? he's married to a supermodel. Which supermodel is it? I can find out later. A very famous one. So he's got supermodel like wife and he plays chess and ICC all day. I mean, you can't I mean what's he done right? He must have been he must have been a saint in a previous life or something. Something's worked out well for him anyway. Um I normally always lose this guy as well. He he's very, very good at blitz and his rating, as we can see, is quite a juicy twenty-five thirty-two. So as we see, I'm giving the Dutch a whirl again. So let's see if we can get some Dutch magic going against Mr. Yardbird. Not sure why he's called Yardbird. Has he has he spent time in prison? I, I somehow doubt it. Um, but yeah, this guy, he just he's on here all the time. Um, if you haven't heard of him, you should look the guy up. I mean, how many games has he played? Let me see if I can have a look. Um, 40 million? No, no, not really. <laughs> Five minute games he has played... Okay, let's have a look, see if I can... Oh, he's won. Well, I don't know how many in total he's won. Um, let me just see. Oh, he's played over 60,000. I mean, that sounds like quite a lot to me. I mean, how much of your life is that on ICC? I mean, it must be like his full-time job playing ICC. But anyway, I've had loads of clashes with this guy in the past. And let's see how we get on here. So we have a Dutch. I'm not really paying attention, as usual. Now he's taken on f5. I want to take on f5 myself. And I think I can let him take on b7. I'm not too concerned about that. So he's trying to get into the e4 square. Let's go for quick development. I mean, I know from experience that this type of position I have here, where I'm very active, should be absolutely fine for me. Um, and I certainly quite like my position, if anything. Now, exchanging queens is a rather dull way of playing, and I don't think I've ever been accused of being a dull player. So let's keep the queens on the board. And queen e8, typical manoeuvre. I want to go queen g6, and I want to go rook to this square. So my opponent, on the other hand, is trying to get in a very cheeky queen to b3 check, which is a crafty idea of his. And then I'm getting hit down on b7, uh, including other ways. So I suppose I could go here. I'm not sure what else to play there. Maybe he goes queen b7 anyway. I was hoping I could go knight to a5 to push his queen off that good diagonal. So, sorry, queen b3, knight to a5. Queen to b3. We've all seen the old Greek gift trick. Where you go knight to f7, blah, blah, blah. Not Greek gift, should I say. Smothered, mate. That's more, more to the point smothered mate and that's not where you kill someone with a pillow that is a different kind of checkmate one of the most beautiful checkmates you can get the smothered mate so king to h8 a nice move to avoid that um so yeah i want to go queen g6 try to kick away his knight here maybe i've got just simply the move h6 why can't i play h6 now even i mean why can't i do this and Okay, he has to take here. I thought I was winning a piece for some some very brief uh, period of time there. That was a bit silly. I should have gone queen g6 first because I'm now allowing his knight to come into this square, which, you know, is, 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 that was a bit slack me. That was a bit silly to do that. Um, you know, I didn't need to allow him to get a, a secure square on e4, so clearly a mistake if I'd have gone queen g6 first. So... And now it's like doing, because if I go knight to a5, he does play queen to d5. So it's got to be time to play this move now. Queen takes b7, bishop takes e4. Should be okay for me. Um, I mean, okay, fairly even position still, I'd imagine, here. Um, and right, now if I take there, he's unfortunately attacking my rook. So that's a bit of a pain. That's a bit of a pain, that move. Uh, I kind of played this game pretty awfully, I have to admit. 
pretty 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 poor performance by me so far um so can we turn the cards somehow i mean i really don't want to play a move like rook b8 it just looks it just looks too too wrong i mean i might have to i don't like playing these the silly sideways moves but maybe i have to play a move like this defend my pawn and you know try to i mean the move i'd like to play i'd like to swap off light square bishops like you know bishop takes c5 bishop e4 his bishop on g2 is a very good piece and actually you know i expect he's a bit better here you know so i wonder if his uh supermodel wife i'll try to find out who it is in a minute um or at least his girlfriend it's a very famous girlfriend you know or wife one of the two i wonder if she she watches his games you know while he plays on icc mr eric lobron and i know this guy's been around for a long time um okay so what's he trying to do now he's trying to do something to me and we don't want to allow him to do anything this knight's actually a real pain piece is not coordinating that well um should i just take this knight off I'm very tempted to get rid of it uh he's stopping bishop e4 as well don't like it don't like it don't like it jimmy i don't know who jimmy is I mean, b5 just seems wrong. b5 seems like a very strange move to play. Uh, okay, but let's give it a go. I, I feel suspicious about this move. You know when you can smell the bullshit. <laughs> um, excuse my language. I can smell the bullshit here. Um, I should probably censor that out. Sorry, that was bad of me. Um, okay, but at least we're getting Barry Barry up the board now. Barry Barry wanted to uh, wanted to take part in this game, so here comes Barry. But I don't believe it. It's more like Barry, you know what I'm going to say, than Barry anything else. Okay, well let's get try to get some messiness going. Knight c2, and maybe Barry has created some chances. I've only got a minute seventeen left, so I have to play a little bit quick here. Uh, actually, Barry's done quite a good job there. I'm, I'm quite happy with Barry. Barry has uh, Barry's done a damn good job, shall we say? Okay, but I'm playing. I'm just playing so slow, as we know. Now, knight c2. He takes here, and he attacks these two pieces. Got to move. Got to move quick, Mr. Williams. Um, can I play that knight c2? Takes on c7. Come on. What do I do? Uh, take here. Does it any tactics he takes here? I'm just play bishop d6 because uh, my brain is not capable of working out working out what's going on here. And he's he's one pawn up. Um, and I expect he has a knight move now that attacks my rook. But then I have rook to potentially a6, queen b7. It's probably all right. I've just spent too too long, haven't I? As usual. So got to got to fight hard here to get back in the game. Um, my pieces look quite active, so I think uh, you know it should should be. You know, what, what the hell is that move? That just looks like a weird move to play. Okay, let's just bang that one in. No, no messing about here. We'll bang the bang it in there. Um, okay, it's a very strange move he played. Right, oh, and I can't take. Let's take get rid of this one. Uh huh. And now my rook is out of play. Okay, let's get move it back. Twenty six seconds. What's happened to my time? Right. Okay. Time to time to get into the famous hustle mode. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get him going and see if I can catch up some time. Opposite colour bishop ending. What a load of fun this will be. Party time. Okay. Okay. Just got to move quick. And that's a bloody annoying pawn, that one, isn't it? That pawn is very annoying. How am I going to stop that one from queening? Normally, you want to put your rook behind past pawns, but, you know, in this case, I might have to slam it in front of the pawn. I can't see how else to stop it. Um obviously struggling here but you know look at that time his time his time's ticking ticking away there tick tick ticking so oh come on what's wrong with my mouse 
This is bad. Okay, come on, quick, quick, quick. <coughs> right. Ah! Oh! Okay. okay, come on. What on earth is this? Oh, 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 God, no. Oh, oh, oh my words. Oh, dear. Well, what a... Ah. Ooh, ah. Oh, I feel a bit sick after that game. Oh dear! Well, that that was. Uh, let's keep my cool now. That was that was very frustrating. You can see my my wrist is just you know, obviously not as well trained as this guy. Ah, oh, bloody hell! What a what a lucky guy! What a lucky lucky guy! Um, okay. Um, so I was going to find out who this guy is, Eric Globe, and find out who his supermodel girlfriend is. So let me. Let me just have a look, see if I can find out. I'm trying to calm myself down a bit. Oh, that was so frustrating. I mean, I should have taken his pawn. Why don't I just take his pawn and at least get a draw? We can see he was just trying to hustle at the end there. And he didn't really care about his position. Um, so, ah. Anyway, um, that's, what, that's what chess is all about, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day, it's speed chess for you. And, you know, speed chess, anything can happen. You've got a hustle. Let's find out a little bit about this guy. Well, Eric Lobren, there's a picture of him smoking here at the Malta Olympiad 1980. Born 1960, German chess player of American descent. He's been two-time German champion. And, okay, uh, there we go. Reputed to have been a successful trader on the stock market. So, hence why he has time to do this. He acquired celebrity status in 2004 when he became romantically involved with Estonian supermodel Carmen Kass, um, herself a keen chess player and president of the Estonian Chess Olympiads. So there you go. Um, he is. He even mentions his ICC handle here as Yardbird, and he holds one of the highest Brits ratings on this. He also known to be a good backgammon player, and this guy's got it all, hasn't he? I mean, this guy, he's made his millions, he plays chess, he's good at backgammon, and he goes to bed with a supermodel. Not bad, not a bad life. So, well, he obviously just hustled me there. Um, as you can see, a little bit, little bit annoyed about that. Um, but all credit to him. That's what chess is all about. You know, you've got to, you've got to hustle, haven't you? You've got to, you've got to get going when the chips are down. Um, very, very quick look at the opening or just see if uh, at any moment there I was doing all right. I mean, I'm sure I'm doing okay. I've had an awful score with... Um, with the Dutch, haven't I? Awful score with the Dutch. So I don't know. I don't know why that is. Um, my first mistake was around here. Why? Why didn't I go Queen G six here, or even well Bishop D eight is what, the, or Rook D eight, anything like this, and I'm doing quite well. Position opening has been a complete success. I mean, later on, it does get a bit murky around here. This is interesting. B pawn push. Did sound like you know Barry the B pawn, maybe a little bit dubious. Um, who knows? But okay, I mean, and then it was just like you know, who has the quickest risk? And this guy has so much practice at playing his ICC stuff. He 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 is a he's a gifted one. All right. Anyway, well done, Mr. Yardbird. I will get you one of these days. Um, cheers for watching that video. Very frustrating video, should I say? Ah. <laughs>